Vitalik Buterin is the, the star child. He's a boy genius who learned Chinese in uh, a couple of weeks at five years old. Yeah, so it's, it's a fascinating story. So we have a hero already because uh, Satoshi himself is this myth. He disappeared into the ether and no one knows who created it, which, as I say, raises my suspicion immensely um, as to who really is behind this. But uh, Ethereum um, has this very geeky, skinny Russian kid called Vitalik Buterin who lives in the States now and, um, and is their sort of visionary. And I think he's just early 20s now, literally 21. He learned Chinese in a few years. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a boy. He's apparently got a 200 IQ. I don't know how you get that, but somehow he does 200 plus 211 or something. What other alternative coins do we have available? One of the, the, one of the most um, buccaneering and coming out of nowhere and fastest growing and number two in the total market caps is Ethereum. And the interesting position that it's taken is rather than just being another coin, is they attempted to create the platform for other coins to launch off them. So this is kind of um, a little bit of a cunning uh, move, kind of like Microsoft. Instead of trying to be the computer or the application, they were the operating system for which all the applications run off. So that is why Ethereum's got a lot of support and climbed very, very, very strongly and, and in, in much shorter times. Bitcoin kind of paved the way. So it had to deal with a lot of the new issues and the skepticism. Now that cryptos are being more readily accepted, it's allowed for really quick movement in coins that have a real interesting raison d'etre. Uh, and as I mentioned, they've got a sort of a star hero that hasn't gone into uh, the, the ether like Mr. Satoshi in Vitalik Buterin. Um, who's a boy genius and, as I was mentioning to you off screen, learned Chinese in a you know, matter of uh, weeks at uh, six or seven years old. So, I mean, there's a whole, there's a cult a hero element and you can go f uh, swat up on that. And, and he's designing Ethereum and creating it more as this platform that people want to issue coins can then, instead of having to get involved in all the hardcore techie, because you need a lot of developers, this requires management, you want to hire good guys. If you've already got uh, someone who's scaled out on really top developers and has done a lot of the thinking, you can actually go with their protocol and then you don't have to do nearly as much. So it's kind of like a white labeling platform. And this is, I think, is quite a clever move to establish Ethereum as one of the most popular platforms for issuing coins. You and I, could you know, agree a loyalty scheme and launch a coin on Ethereum. We might need a little bit of know-how and we'd have to talk, but the fact that Ethereum will say, do it through our platform, takes a lot of um, running off our shoulders.